from a spiritual perspective, on a soul level, at your very core, the deepest, wisest, highest level of you already knows and understands that you are enough. And on a spiritual level, this is what's interesting is that there's no such thing as loss. On a spiritual level, even if spiritually there's no such thing as loss, on a physical 3D level, our survival brain only sees loss, right? It's constantly concerned about loss. But on a spiritual level, it's just an illusion and it's not actually possible to lose anything. The reason being is because energy cannot be created or destroyed. You already just have the energy to create whatever it is that you want to create. Everything is created from your energy, right? And so to say that something is lost once you have something, think about the fact that if you, let's say you made a million dollars and let's say you actually lost the million dollars from a physical 3D tangible perspective, let's say something happened, right? You gambled it away, someone stole it, you made a bad business deal, you made a bad investment, the million dollars is gone. And from the 3D physical tangible perspective, you're like, oh no, I lost all this money. The thing is, is that it's actually not lost because you had a particular frequency that created that million dollars. That million dollars was not created from thin air. It was created from your vibrational frequency. It was created from the beliefs that you held about money, the thoughts that you had about money, the feelings you had about money, the skill sets that you had that allowed you to create that, the connections that you created in order for you to create that money, the service that you provided to people to solve some sort of problem to create that money. That stuff is actually what created the money in the first place because all of that is coming from the energy that you have within that cannot be destroyed, okay? So as you gain all of these skill sets, this frequency, these beliefs, these thoughts, these things that contributed to you making a million dollars, it can never, ever, ever be taken away from you. That's why people who, you know, have become millionaires and then they find themselves bankrupt They actually are able to, there's so many stories like this, they actually recreate that money plus so much more and they do it so much faster than they ever did before because now they have the fucking skill sets to do it. But our physical 3D tangible brains, our, you know, from the human perspective, the reptilian brain doesn't fucking understand this. And so that's why we feel this way. So now that we get this, from like the human evolution, caveman days perspective, let's talk about why we are so focused on not enough, why it's so easy for us to get sucked into not enough from a spiritual perspective. So from a spiritual perspective, on a soul level, at your very core, the deepest, wisest, highest level of you already knows and understands that you are enough, okay? You are enough, you've always been enough, and always will be enough. There is absolutely nothing you can or cannot do to destroy this about yourself. It's another thing that you just have and it cannot be created or destroyed, it's just innately given to you. It's just innately part of your existence. If you exist right now, then you are enough. Like that's that's the truth right there, okay? And every single soul understands that they are abundant in their true nature. So what then changes when we incarnate? Why why do so many people struggle with abandonment issues, with worthiness issues, with deservingness issues, with imposter syndrome, right? It seems like it runs fucking rampant. And there's a humongous personal development industry that exists, which is a great thing. But the reason why so many people in the personal development space are in business, including myself, is because so many people struggle with these issues. So what the fuck is happening here, right? What is going on? So here's the thing. And this has been talked about by my shaman. So many people out there who practice ancient spirituality will also mention this. Like this is a very core spiritual truth. Our number one purpose in our lifetimes in each lifetime, because I believe we have many lifetimes, our sole mission, our primary lesson is to remember who 
we truly are. That's it. We unremember, we fucking forget, and our whole primary purpose, if you ever want to know what, Catherine, what is my life purpose? Can you tell me? Yes. Remember who you are. (laughs) My shaman repeats this to me like a broken record because every time I'll hear like someone else ask like, what's the purpose of this? What's the point? Or like, why is this happening? And he'll always say, well, you need to remember. Like that's the whole fucking point is you need to remember who you are. We forget our infinite nature. We forget our limitless connection to source. We forget our boundlessness. We forget our enoughness at our deepest, deepest core. We forget how fundamentally perfect we all are in this tapestry of life. And the whole point of every lifetime is for us to remember. 